All right, coming up next, it's a welterweight matchup between Donald Cerrone and Nate Diaz. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Diaz is 32, Cerrone is 34. He is one inch taller. Diaz will have a three inch reach advantage. Well, this is a venue that has hosted so many big UFC fights over the last several years, and we are underway at Juness Arena right here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. Nice. That one hurt. He caught the kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. And a left hand behind it. Well, he left it. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with a right hand. Cerrone gets up, but he looks dazed and confused. Oh, nice body shot. He blocks the punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lands a punch. Oh, Lands a beautiful there. Big body shot. shot. The body. Wow. Oh, huge shot there. Using his jab effectively oh. here, Joe. He's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. What a fight we got going on here. Big knee to the body. How about that shin? Oh! Yeah, oh, looks a little right. wobbly on his feet. This could be it. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He hurt him bad. Hit oh, him hard so with that hook. With that hook, Joe. Cerrone goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Oh, he's tagging him. Body kick, look at that. He's got him right here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, another one. Oh. Oh, very nice. Oh. This could be it right here. physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. And here's a big strike to the head that stuns. And here's another devastating... Sh what an action-packed round. You ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. And there is one. Oh! Big shot! He's got to be careful here. He's clearly in trouble. Big punches here. And he's looking for that left. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Cerrone gets caught with that punch. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit, 
with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Fainting with the punch. Wow! Back to the feet. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, he got caught! Joe, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Let's take one more look at this overhand. Right on the money, and the fight is over as soon as it lands. Great angle here. Boom. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 36 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nate Diaz! So Nate Diaz still getting the job done deep into his second decade as a professional mixed martial arts fighter. A lot of people thought from a matchup standpoint that this one wouldn't go his way here tonight. But Nate Diaz finds a way yet again. And I just think for a lot of lightweights and even welterweights, they just can't deal with the boxing skills, the toughness, the never-say-die attitude. Nate Diaz getting it done in a big way here tonight.